Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. CAD systems are primarily designed to give you a block of geometry tailor-made to your specifications, and that makes it difficult to deal with product variations, like 10 or 20 versions of the same gasket or piston rod, where the only differences may be their lengths and diameters. It's a common setup for people who manufacture parts and sell them in a catalog. The latest addition to Autodesk Cloud Hosted Software Suite. The new product called Autodesk Configurator 360 seems like a tailor made product for this catalog market. Once you have uploaded a part to your cloud server, the online configurator analyzes the geometry and identifies all the parameters involved in your design. What you end up with is your part in the preview window along with all its editable parameters. Take this simple part, a base plate, for example. Once it's inside the configurator and already uploaded and ready to use, you can now select any of its length, depth, or width and change it. The geometry updates instantly to reflect your edits. You might say, you can do these changes inside a CAD program anyway, so why bother? Well, keep in mind that the online configurator lets you post one primary design and let people who do not have a CAD system and probably don't have the inclination to learn to use one to adjust the parameters to fit their needs without pestering the original designer. I believe that will be you to make these changes and regenerate a new model on their own. So editing width and length are simple enough. Let's take a look at this bracket, for instance. Here, it gets a little more complicated because I'm going to adjust the rib in the middle of these two plates. And I'll change the angle and its length. And let's see how the configurator resolve these differences. In another example, this one is a spindle I found in a tutorial file content from a desktop version of Inventor. I'm going to go ahead and change the diameter of the center hole connected to quite a few surfaces and see how the configurator is going to resolve the geometry. Now you might be wondering what happens if you enter a value that your geometry cannot possibly accommodate. Well then you get an error message. But when you review the lock, you'll see an explanation as to why the edit doesn't work. Of course, in an online catalog setup, you'll probably limit the input to a reasonable range, so nobody can enter a length or a diameter that doesn't make sense. For commercial implementation, Fusion Configurator can be customized with your own logo and company text, so when it shows up online, the catalog will be branded the way you want it. And finally, the edited or configured geometry can be downloaded in a neutral format. Configurator 360 solves part catalog supplier's headache. Their problem is they want to provide their customers with a way to configure and preview a derivative design before buying it. Now, here's a scenario where it might not be intended but can still be very useful and reasonable. I think the software could be used internally by some companies that want to keep one master model and allow other departments to be able to generate their own customized variations based on that model. Since it's a cloud-hosted implementation, it doesn't tie up additional licenses of CAD software for the purpose of simply making minor edits. Something to think about. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.